The Super NES Classic has been hacked. Well, kind of. There's kind of a, a middle a middle ground being uh, frontiered right now. There's a Reddit post. A lot of people have done tutorials. I have to say one of the best tutorials I've seen so far is from ETA Prime. He gives you step by step. However, even himself says you probably want to wait till the official hack sheet to 2.18 comes out because currently the whole process is going to take you somewhere between five and maybe up to like 20, 25 minutes per game to hack. Not only that, you will lose your original games that come with the SNES temporarily. They will be hidden. So it's not really the hack you're looking for. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so here is the tutorial. As you can see, it's a total of 18 steps. You have to download two programs. You still got to download your ROMs. There's some conversion going on. You got to dump the stock kernel. And at the end of it all, you do remove or hide all your games from before. So you're only going to see the games that you've recently added. And like I said, each game is going to take you somewhere between 5 and 25 minutes to do. So it's a long process. I highly recommend you wait. Just wait a couple more days when the actual Hack G2 arrives. This method is not that great. Um, if you just can't help yourself, then go for it. I'll put a link in the description to ETA Prime's video. I highly recommend following his guide. Basically, he, um, you know, he gets his ROMs. He then converts the ROMs into the file format that the, the Wii U... Uh, virtual console runs off of so you have to do convert then you got to do these folders so that it goes with the uh, operating system of the Wii of the SNES classic and uh, it's really confusing I just think a lot of people are gonna get bricked systems this way uh, people are gonna get brick systems either way but I think the probability that you're gonna brick your system here is ten times that of if you just wait for the official hack chi to um, he does Chrono Trigger and Killer Instinct, but as you can see, he's like adding, renaming, adding, renaming, and then you have to go into the actual script, and you got to do a find command, find the, 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 the five digits you've done, and then replace them with your new one. There's a lot of file renaming, and if you get letters wrong or something like that, or you do lowercase versus uppercase, uh, <laughs> You know, that's uh, not good. That's that's where you're going to have run into a lot of problems. So eventually he gets it done. You go back into an unofficial uh, older version of Hack Chi. You can find your artwork just like you could before. That part's easy. But as you see here, you cannot click original 30 games. You can only run the, because it's a this is built for the mini NES and you're running it on the SNES Classic Mini. So, um, you know, you can't get those initial games added as well. They're still on your system. They're just hidden in your stock kernel. But this method, like I said, you only can select, you have to do this individually for each game you want. The original games will not be there. It does work, it does look beautiful. Kudos to ETA Prime and the SNES Classic Hack Reddit. Do be forewarned, you should wait because A, the official hack should be dropping in the next day or two. Just wait, why are you gonna go through all these extra steps now? Two, you're gonna lose your original games. They're gonna be hidden. You're only gonna have these new games. Three, it takes a ton of time to do this. This is a very cumbersome task. It's not very easy. And lastly, you're just gonna have a highly likelihood you're gonna break your system. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, uh, don't forget to like this video. There'll be links in the description if you wanna access any of this information. And we'll see you guys on the next one.